your friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. Find the square of the following numbers without actual multiplication. We have to find the square of 39 and 42. Let us start with 39. We have to find its square. So let us write it as 30 plus 9 whole square which can be written as 30 plus 9 into 30 plus 9. Now let us open the bracket. 30 with 30 will give us 900. 30 with 9 will give us 270. So 9 with 30 will give us 270. Plus 9 with 9 will give us 81. On adding we get 1521. Similarly, let us calculate 42 whole square, which can be written as 40 plus 2 whole square, which is same as 40 plus 2 multiplied by 40 plus 2. Now let us open the bracket. 40 into 40 will give us 1600 40 into 2 will give us 80 then 2 into 40 will give us 80 2 into 4, 2 will give us 4 on adding we get 1764 let us look at another pattern in squares we know that 25 square is equal to 625, 35 whole square is equal to 1225, let us find out 75 whole square, it is equal to 5625, we can easily notice that all the numbers have 25 as their last two digits. Then what about 6? We know that 6 can be written as 2 into 3. Similarly, 12. We know that 12 can be written as 3 into 4. And 56 would be 7 into 8. That means Actually, they are following a pattern. We have 2 into 3, 100, plus 25. Similarly, we have 3 into 4, 100, plus 25. Then we have 7 into 8, 100, plus 25. Then what should be 125 whole square? According to the pattern, that should be 12 into 13 hundreds plus 25, which will come out to be 156 25. You can verify this using a calculator and now we can find square of any number with unit digit 5. Say we have to find the square of 95. Easily we can do 9 into 10 hundreds plus 25 that will be equal to 90 hundreds plus 25 which is equal to 
which is equal to 9025. Let us now define Pythagorean triplet. Consider numbers 3, 4 and 5. We have 3 square is equal to 9, 4 square is equal to 16. Let's add 3 square plus 4 square will give us 9 plus 16 which is equal to 25 and we know that 25 is square of 5 that means square sum of the square of two numbers is equal to the square of third number then we call the collection of numbers 3 4 and 5 as Pythagorean triplet Similarly, let us consider the numbers 6, 8 and 10. We know that 6 square is 36, 8 square is 64, then 6 square plus 8 square would be 36 plus 64 which is equal to 100 and which is also equal to 10 square and this means that sum of the square of two digits is equal to the sum of, of square of the third digit hence 6, 8 and 10 are another triplet called Pythagorean triplet hence we define that for any natural number m which is greater than 1 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 form a Pythagorean triplet and for this triplet 2m whole square plus m square minus 1 whole square should be equal to m square plus 1 whole square. 